Christmas is you I want your heart, your love, your trust Fiend for your kiss, your hug, your touch Give you my heart, exchange for yours started I say every day yesterday and today I started with a little editing so I can try to start out right on this vlogmas thing um, I'm currently eating toast and I plan on editing until noon so yeah my life's not that exciting right now I am currently just having my coffee and the only reason I wanted to pull the camera really quick was because obviously vlogmas but um i was trying to delay until i got looking somewhat presentable yes i'm still wearing my sweater and shirt from yesterday i was busy and it's cold cozy i don't care i think i'm gonna make these it's like 9 a.m and um that sounds like a really good breakfast the only incentive of me making these cookies um at all especially at this time of day let's we'll have a little bit of cookie dough this I'm gonna have to put the lid on and then stick in the freezer hopefully this container can fit in the freezer and um, we're gonna freeze it for 20 minutes this tastes really good I was sad at first because there's no frosting for them but honestly, this is fantastic. Baby, I've been going nowhere lately. It's time to start all over and go for it. Cause they don't even, they don't even know me yet. But that's something I don't regret. Every night I close my eyes and see. When it happened to dreams, baby. What can I do when I'm in? Hey guys, um, I don't know how well I'm doing at this vlogmas thing at the moment. We're only on day two and I didn't pick up the camera since this morning, but that's okay. I have the full intention of sharing a lot with you right now. I am about to make some popcorn, which I have been way too into lately, and I'm making a decaf coffee right now. If you can hear it, the kettle is boiling, so I apologize if that is loud. And I think while I eat the popcorn, I'm going to watch an episode of Lula Rich. Um, I know I'm kind of behind. This was a popular documentary a few months ago, but I just started it a couple days ago, and it's pretty interesting. So I might watch an episode of that while I eat because obviously I can't work on a wedding dress with popcorn um, unless I don't put anything on it, which I just can't. I can't be that person. I can't be that healthy. dress and I took out the dress because I figured that it would help be able to figure out if we like it or not because I'm including me in this because I'm really not sure I went for something completely different than 
what I was planning on doing. So I'm a little bit terrified, but let's do it. So the first dress here is not the wedding dress. I feel like the color of the dress has changed over the past few months. Like, it was originally white and now it's like not white. But the other dress is still white. They were the same color before. Why did that happen? Please let me know down below. Um, this is not good, but also it might be fine. Like maybe this color suits me better. Putrid antique yellow. Let me know down below. Christmas bells ring ring Swing in my shopping bag Sing in Oh, ring ring The Christmas bells ring ring I don't know how much I spent on this bling bling But I don't care what it costs I'm leaving no name on cross I guess my phone is on because it's ringing Oh, it's my father I'll text you um, in like an hour or two and see if I'm able to get to the airport in time. All right, bye. Hmm. Okay, so people are putting pressure for me to go earlier, even though I don't want to. So I am just really quickly finishing my little splice edit. Lately my computer's been awful. So I've been editing the majority of the videos in Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects depending on what I'm making. Like this is an animation, so I made it in After Effects. But then when I go into Premiere with it and I try to add the overlay, so I added like a bubbly water overlay because the video is called Lemonade or the song. That exporting on my computer at the end of the export, it keeps glitching out, which is a problem with, um, I believe, the way Premiere is interacting with my computer software um, from what I read. And so I have been having to export it, have the glitch, delete the second half of the video where the glitch is and pretty much just redo the second half on Splice. For this one, it's super easy because it's an animation that's just repeating. So I just deleted the second half and pretty much copied the beginning over onto the end and then added a title at the very end. And so that worked out really, really well. This is what I went with. How I came up with this, I have no idea. I was trying to not go with lace, but I wanted like, I was looking at different beaded types of fabric that weren't lace. I originally wanted something that was kind of like um, a glittery geometric, print on something transparent whether it's organza or tool or even chiffon like I didn't care chiffon is too flowy I wanted something a bit thicker but I just wanted something like with a little bit of structure um that was somewhat translucent like translucent where um the glitter wasn't Definitely didn't want something such that's such a net. So this is like kind of like a glitter spider web and it's all thread. Like the whole thing is just stitched thread pretty much. Like it's embroidery like on top of some sort of webbing and then glittered. It's beautiful. It's very shiny. I don't know how well it's coming across in the picture, but it's not at all what I pictured. So I'm a bit nervous about that, but let's go ahead and lay it on top. I'm trying not to lose all the glitter in the process of this. You're going to come through this whole process with me from 
not knowing if this is going to work to seeing whether or not it works. I'm quite nervous right now. Love a good fancy fabric, but one, I'm, I really don't remember it being this color and I feel at complete fault because I took so long to work on the dress. I took it out of the box to work on it and then I waited basically a year to actually do anything. Let's take a step back and a look at this. <sighs> it's so much. But also I have to remember the sleeves are going away and the top is going away. Rudolph, how you do that? Tell me how you do that. Oh, I know how you do that. Rudolph, Rudolph, tell me how you fly so high. Rudolph, tell me how you fly so high. Rudolph, Rudolph, tell me how you touch the sky. I put the chocolate in right away, but my battery died. So I don't remember which way is better to do the cups like upside down or whatever, but it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to do them upside down and then push them all the way in and then kisses sit right on top. But whatever, this is what we had. I was in a rush because you want the cookies to still be really gooey when you do it. I only had a few chocolates, so I only made a few with chocolate but I think they will all be good. They now that I have my cookies, my coffee, but it's very, very cold, and the dishes are all done, I am probably going to, oh my God, these are so good. Highly recommend that brand. Um, shower. Get some work done. It's gonna have sleeves, but not those sleeves. And the sleeves are gonna be, I'll show a picture right here. Um, so that you can see the sleeves are off the shoulder and they're fitted and they're gonna be out of this crazy webbing fabric. From here, it doesn't look that terrifying, but let's get a little closer. No, I'm like kind of freaked out by the color. It's actually, the exact same color as this gold webbing that I bought. So maybe it's not so bad. Okay, so I'm sitting here looking at the dress, trying to figure out how I feel. All I feel is I don't want to work on it tonight, right now, but I feel like I should. So I'm gonna do something that I've been putting off forever. Um, here we go. I need to do measurements of myself and compare them to my mannequin and see if this is even close to fitting me because I feel like there's no way. So, okay, let me find a piece of paper and I'm gonna use the back of a pattern and I'm gonna use this pen. <laughs> As if you need to know that. Okay, so bust, waist, hip is basically what I need to know. Okay, so bust. Thirty-four. Okay, I'm a thirty-four bust. I'm pretty sure. Now let's go to the natural waist. Natural waist, 25 and a half. Okay, okay. Now, the hip. Hips at 35. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better. I've been thinking there's no way I'm anywhere near these measurements and I have a definitely at some point been these measurements. Am I still them? No. Okay. Last year, probably. Aster COVID? No. Okay, so hip is supposed to be 35, or my mannequin is 35. 
I am currently 39 and I'm measuring like right like the center of my butt to my front and I'm barely hitting 35 I'm like we're we're at like 35 and a half okay so now natural waist am I 25 no I am 29 okay bust come on girl Let, let's get one let's get one right there we go chest has not changed we're still at 34 all right okay so that just means like when I take the pattern pieces off I need to alter the pattern to add more space so that when I cut the dress, which I don't have to cut the top of the dress, which is amazing. I just need to take the seam allowance out and hopefully, cross my fingers, there's enough space in there to um, accommodate this. If not, I gotta lose some weight because I'm not adding fabric to the top of the dress. I need this to work. There's a lot of seam allowance in there though. I think there's at least two and a half inches on each side. I'm pretty sure, at least two inches on each side. And then the skirt I'm completely making from scratch. So I just need to make sure that the, the skirt measurements are correct and we need to accommodate um, for the fact that I am bigger than this mannequin. Which is fine. Ryan Little. editing the exact same video so I think tomorrow I'm going to really start on this project I'm going to just well I really honestly want to finish do the patterns for these cut them out and oh, see, it's so hard because Part of me wants to be like really good and cut it out full size and you know try on the dress and then part of me because the top is already made I don't want to do that I just want to cut it out of here but that's a bad idea so I'm gonna at least make the skirt full size um even if I don't make it full length, I want to do, you know, into my knee, from the waist to my knee, and try it on and make sure that I'm fitting in it properly. I also have to decide, am I going to do the zipper down the back or down the side, or if I even want a zipper. I don't know if I want it on the back. If it's going to be down the back, I think I want it to be a corset type. 
and not a zipper because I just want it to be really flush with my skin. And yeah, so I have to decide on that. But I don't hate this. I kind of think it works. But to be honest, my plan, and this is me just like spouting out ideas here, but I think what I'm going to do is with extra fabric, I am going to cut parts of this, like just strips of it, and I'm gonna hand sew it, like going up onto the bodice and stuff to make the bodice pop a little bit because compared to how glittery the skirt is, I feel like the bodice needs a little lift. Also, there is lace on here. There's all lace under here and part of me thinks, should I take this off? Should I take this off and use it on top? Or is that, is that a crazy idea? Like, is that weird to put the lace on the, because I think it's weird to have the lace underneath. I kind of want to put the lace on the top. Um, there's a lot to think about here. packed and I'm just gonna get ready to go kind of chill for an hour <laughs> thanks for watching this video I hope 2020 version of vlog was vlog vlogmas was more exciting than today because honestly I had the most me day today ever something unexpected happened and just totally threw off my day and I just spent the whole day watching videos in bed and avoiding responsibility in life. So that was today. 
so hopefully 2020 was a little bit better because otherwise it's a very boring vlog i'm sorry please like comment subscribe all the things and go ahead right here check out these videos because i'm sure they're going to be a lot more interesting than the one that you're watching right now hands on the hips i don't know why and pray for me because i don't know how i feel about this dress <laughs>